Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ellipsis and today we've got a bit of a different type of video for you. Uh, first off though, some news. This arrived today. This is my six booster boxes of Scarlet and Violet. Super happy it's finally arrived. Uh, it's heavy. And uh, today isn't about this. But I just wanted to share that it has arrived and future videos will be stacked with Scarlet and Violet. Uh, today's video is about something a little bit different. Uh, long term viewers of the channel uh, that have watched videos since February uh, will have seen that I set myself a challenge. So just for the, the newer people that haven't watched that far back, um, I set myself a goal uh, that before my 50th birthday, uh, which is in eight years. Uh, I would try to collect every uh, pack art for every English set of Pokemon cards. So that goes all the way back to base. Uh, English set, so no Japanese sets. I'm not including uh, holiday sets. But uh, yeah, basically there's about 400 pack arts, I believe. I may be wrong there. I'll have to double check that. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, there's about 100 sets. So I think roughly there's four artworks per set. So 400 sets sounds about right. So uh, I have a spreadsheet running. Some of you may have seen those in other videos where I've pulled a pack that I've been able to add to the spreadsheet. Um, I've got some products to open, some boxes. And what we're just going to do is rip open the boxes and tick them off on my spreadsheet as we pull them. Uh, but yeah gonna start with the first box so here is the first box it's lycanroc gx um the thing with the boxes is there's no mystery involved we know the packs that we're gonna have inside the box and i can buy the boxes that i know will add packs to my spreadsheet uh, so obviously i collect promo cards too so all of the promo cards are a, a nice bonus um uh, yeah, we're just going to rip into these. I've got four boxes, uh, so that's 16 packs. I've also got a tin. Now, the tins, I don't know what's inside them, so that's a bit of a gamble. be interesting to see if we can pull any packs uh, that I don't already have from the tin. So, first box, I'm just going to rip into this. <clears throat> I have to do a bit of a savage way. I some boxes just don't play ball. But, so for this box, lots of plastic used, obviously. Uh, now, <clears throat> these promo cards are put in awfully. It's squeezed in between the plastic. And I want to get it out without damaging it but it's I'm going to leave the promo cards here's a very nice promo card though like a rock GX uh, Sun and Moon 14 very nice uh, we do have packs and we also have the <clears throat> we also have the oversized Lycan Rock GX card, which is nice. So I'll go. Uh, these I believe are too big to go in the oversized binder, but yeah, it is what it is. We'll find somewhere to store them. You get a code card. Don't know if these code cards are worth very much. Obviously, they're from slightly older boxes, so maybe. And our packs for this are Sun and Moon. Uh, what's her name? Pre Marina. I already have Pre Marina. That was the one. I believe there's one or two sacrifices I had to make where I already had a pack that was in a box. So Pre Marina, we already have. Then we have uh, Mega Sizor, I believe. Uh, from Breakpoint, we have Solgaleo from Sun and Moon, and we have. Uh, Alakazam from 
baits collide. So if I pull up my spreadsheet, let's start with Solgalea from Sun and Moon. So, Sun and Moon. Solgaleo is actually the final pack I need to have all of the artworks. So that's nice. So what I do is color that one and then color that too, just to show that the full set is complete. Uh, and then that will change to 28. Okay. And then with the next one, if we switch to X and Y, Breakpoint. The breakpoint is there. Uh, we don't have any breakpoint so far. So there's the mega sizzle, sizzle. So we can color that. And then we'll change that to 25. And then we have, realize you're not seeing the packs. We have the Fates Collide and Fates Collide Alakazam is just there. So we color you in and then we can change that up again to 26. So uh, nice to see some progress. I haven't done one of these openings since February. So. <clears throat> So yeah, this, I've been sitting with these boxes for some time and uh, been waiting to do this video. But I thought because it's my birthday week, uh, today we'll go through and have the, the pack arts, ticking them off the checklist. And uh, Wednesday, I've got a big opening uh, with a special celebratory set, shall we say. Uh, but I've also got the uh, Scarlet and Violet um, booster boxes to go through so this next box is solgaleo gx uh, i think i'll probably do the same i'll uh, i'll leave the promos in the box for now so, there you go solgaleo SM 104. Okay, there is no code card in there. So the oh yeah, code card is here. Take our packs. We have the oversized Solgaleo. Okay, so now we have two Celestial Storms, one Forbidden Light, and one steam siege. So let's move through the spreadsheet. Uh, so if we start with X and Y, because they're already there, we've got one steam siege. So the only steam siege we still need is Volcanion. So that was another sacrifice that I made. So that's just an extra double pack. Packs I already have, I put them in a separate tin so that they're potentially going to get sold in the future to make a little bit of money in order to buy maybe some of the more expensive packs as we get older through the eras. Uh, but let's carry on with, we have Forbidden Light, which is there. Uh, and we don't currently have any packs yet. So this pack is... Hmm. Which pack is that? It's it's not Greninja, is it? No. Uh it's not Zygarde and it's not Naganadal, so I'm assuming it's Ultra Necrozma. Maybe it is Naganadal. Um, tell you what I'm gonna do for now. Uh see I don't think it's Necrozma. I'm gonna put it as Naganadal for now. And I'll, you'll, you'll see why in a short while. So we have Naganadal. So there's the one addition. And then we have two Celestial Storms. The first one is Rayquaza. And 
The second one is Stack Attacker, I believe. So, Celestial Storm, there's Stack Attacker and Rayquaza. So they can change, and then we can add another two to that list, which is nice. Okay. The next box we have is the Lunala GX box. Um, I haven't actually looked at years on these. This one goes back to 2018. So, these videos are slightly trickier to make <clears throat> because this is more about, <clears throat> excuse me, this is more about me just as a, a collector of a certain thing. Maybe not everyone is so interested in, uh, in collecting packs. Some people obviously, if they see a pack, they open it, and I totally understand that. We have SM103 for Nulala, Lunala. We have our four packs and the oversized Lunala GX card. Again, these always end up really bent at the bottom. There's nothing you can do about them. Um, you can apply some weight, put them in a big book and put some pressure on top of them and they might straighten out. But um, in some cases where the hollow bends, you can't get the hollow to go back. There's a code card for the new Lala box. And in this pack, we have two more Celestial Storms, another Forbidden Light and the Volcanion Steam Siege. We can go back to the spreadsheet and uh, we'll start with X and Y. Uh, we have Steam Siege and Volcanion is the one that we still needed. So we can tick that one off and then we can color in Steam Siege to say the whole set is complete, which is a really nice really nice point to, to get to. The next is the Forbidden Light. Now that, I need to move my spreadsheet down. Forbidden Light, we still need Greninja, Zygarde, and Ultra Necrozma. Who is that? That Zygarde? I really should have looked up the packs <laughs> before I started this video. I mean, I know it's definitely not Greninja and it's not Necrozma. So let's go with Zygarde. And we can change that to 32. Uh, I just realized I changed Steam Siege. Where X and Y, wasn't it? Uh, but I didn't add the pack addition. We're up to 27 with X and Y. And then we have the two Celestial Storm packs. So, Celestial Storm. We need Blaziken. We just need Blaziken. Oh yeah, we already have the stack attacker, so that's another sacrifice we have to make. So we have the Blaziken artwork. So we colour Blaziken in, and then we can also finish off Celestial Storm. So that's another full set of artworks done. Uh, we're going to move on to 
this tin now. So this tin is from 2016. Uh, it's the, I believe it's Zygarde. Uh, yeah, we're going to see what packs are inside. This is, as I said, this is the gamble. There's no way of knowing what's inside these tins. It's definitely not a reprinted tin. You can usually tell reprinted tins uh, at the end of this description. If it's a reprinted tin, it will have a letter and number code. So it might say C20, which means it was made in 2020. But this one, 2016. And there's no code after it so something good to look out for uh, i know a lot of people have made mistakes in the past buying tins thinking they're old when actually they're a reprinted tin so let's start with we get a zygarde ex black star promo which is nice and that's xy151 that's another cool one to add to the set you get a code card. Okay, and this is the moment of truth. Did we get something new to add to the collection? So I'm gonna just keep an eye on my spreadsheet. We're into X and Y for, I believe, some if not all of the packs. Uh, I don't believe they would go back to uh, black and white. Maybe there might be one in there. Uh, okay, so the first pack is XY Fates Collide. And that is the Zygarde pack. So, X and Y Fates Collide and Zygarde is one we need. So that is a great turn of events. So now all we need for Fates Collide would be the Lugia. So that can go to. 28 and Zygarde goes into our collection pile. Okay, so we have another Fates Collide, but it's the Alakazam again. So we already have Alakazam. So that one uh, will go into the pile for packs where we already have doubles. But what I might do is take a look at it later and decide whether or not. Um, you know which which pack actually has the better condition uh because obviously i'd like to have packs in perfect condition if i can the next pack is an x and y breakthrough and let's see what i need for breakthrough uh zoroark is the one that i do already have so that is the zoroark pack uh, I actually need the two Mewtwo variants and the Houndoom. So unfortunately, Zoroark is a duplicate. Now this is getting interesting. We have an X and Y Roaring Skies. So, oh, was that the last pack? Maybe it was. Yeah, it was. Okay, so the last pack is an X and Y Roaring Skies. And... If I pull up the spreadsheet again, Roaring Skies, I needed the Latios and the Deoxys, and this is the Latios. It's not in the, the best condition, as you can see, the bottom frill is a little bit curved up, but that isn't terrible. I will live with that. And if we buy something in the future that has the same pack, in it I'll, I'll look to maybe swap it out if it's in better condition but happy with that so we can change latios and we can say that we have that pack artwork so that is the tin with the only element of mystery And now we get on to something I'm quite excited about. But the final thing to open for today, and it goes back to 
2011. This is old. Barely vintage. We have the Reshram box. Uh, four packs of black and white. Uh, I don't know which series it is. We'll find out. But we get an awesome Reshram figure. And we also get a Black Star promo. Now, the thing with this box was I knew when I bought it that it was uh, potentially damaged. And I'm hoping, as you can see, it doesn't, the bend at the bottom doesn't necessarily touch the promo card. So I'm hoping that everything else is in shape inside. But we're going to open it up and we're going to see just what condition it is. And at the very least, we get four packs to add to the spreadsheet and an awesome Reshiram figure to put on the shelf. So there it is in not quite so obscure wrapping. Uh, I don't know how to get into this box. Yes, the bottom is, yep, yeah, okay. Always a bit nervous opening uh, boxes that are so old. I know a lot of people aren't so keen on ripping open what you know what should be kept in a sealed collection potentially. But my intention is that once I have pack arts, I will um, put them on display on a a wall display. Good God. That was harder than expected. Okay, let's take a look at this Black Star promo. It is black and white 23. It doesn't have the most holographic pattern in the background, but it does have a bit of a shine. Now, the thing with this is it is slightly curved, almost twisted, I'd say. It's not curved, it's not got one smooth bend halfway down the card it twists the other way but it's not terrible don't believe there's any real damage to it there's a tiny bit of whitening in that corner but everything else centering wise looks good very nice very nice to be able to add back to the collection <clears throat> there is a code card. It must be literally one of the first. That is absolute S tier code card. But good luck grabbing that. We have our Reshiram figure. Now that is very cool. There is a little stand for it. Uh, I don't know. Can we put it on now? Or... Okay, there we go. How cool is that? Actually, quite a big figure as well. I have to see if I can find a couple more of these older boxes, different figures inside. And then, to the most vital part of opening this, we have the four packs of black and white. And uh, I did already. I think I did already see that um, these are all four pack artworks for black and white emerging powers. So let me just. Okay, so emerging powers, we have the Darmanitan artwork, which is you. That's the Darmanitan. Next pack we have is Braviary. So there's your bravery. The next pack we have, where am I? Is Cobalion, which is this guy. And the last pack we have is Tornadus, which is this guy. And all in all, a little bit of a curl on the, the bottom seam. 
but nothing we can't straighten out with the way that we put it inside the protective wrapper that I put all of my packs in. So that is massive. I bring up my spreadsheet. Emerging powers, and we can literally take that whole line and color it out. I'm gonna take the format painter. That just makes my day. That is a big enough birthday present for myself that, um, yeah, I can live with that. So that is my opening for today. As I said, it's not your usual opening. Uh, for anyone that's interested in pack art collection though, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the format and uh, whether you'd like to see me open more later down the, the months as I get new boxes. Um, as I said, the, the challenge is that I will complete all of the pack arts by my 50th birthday. That is going to be a challenge. Uh, I believe it equates to four packs every month until my 50th birthday that I need to find. Um, I've done very well in the last couple of months. Uh, this is way more packs than I needed to find in that time frame. But uh, you know, it's going to get harder to find as it gets older generations. Um, that's why I open a lot of PokéRev packs in the hope that I can find silver or gold. Um, because uh, it's one of the more cheaper ways to, to find uh, older packs. But I um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to get rid of the spreadsheet for the end. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Join me tomorrow. I will be opening some some more products. I don't know whether it'll be Scarlet and Violet, considering I've just had the big delivery in. But uh, yeah, join tomorrow and uh, you'll find out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like if you did. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more content on the channel. And uh, I'll leave you to the rest of your Monday. Take care.